Mechatronics is a, is a new area, and because it combines electrical and mechanical engineering along with software engineering, and there's more and more applications with embedded systems that use this technology, uh, it's an exciting new area for students, and it's a growing, emerging area. Uh, robotic applications, uh, micro vehicles, uh, aerial vehicles, all of these technologies use mechatronics principles and students are more and more students are becoming interested in the topic area. Uh, a lot of mechatronic systems, for example aerial vehicles, are very very complicated to model and control and uh, you can use simple techniques, you know people who use heuristic, you know trial and error techniques, but at the end of the day to get any decent performance out of these really cool systems you need advanced control uh, knowledge and uh, it's very important for students who want to do design in this area to actually have a very thorough understanding of control systems. What's very important for students when they work in the mechatronics area, especially if they're taking undergraduate courses, uh, a lot of it is theory, but at, at some point they need to translate the theory into practice. And as soon as they do that, one of the things that they find out very quickly is that the theory sometimes uh, doesn't quite match what they see on the actual system and they have to go back and redesign uh, based on what they're actually seeing uh, in a real world system. Uh, oftentimes when we design things, we leave things out like friction or gears or other things like that and we need to put that back in when we're working with the real system. If a student's only work in a simulation or a theoretical environment, they're missing out huge. They have to work on an actual experiment in mechatronics to really understand the difficulties and the challenges in integrating all these components together. Uh, too often in the past, uh, in undergraduate students come out of a university without uh, lab experience that simulates the industrial environment. Something that is really, really crucial if they're going to make a, make a difference in whatever company they join or even if they go into academia. So it's very important, it's, it's crucial I would say, for them to have exposure to equipment and to applications that they would see in industry. Uh, if you're going to have a relevant undergraduate degree in mechatronics, it's, it's absolutely essential that you have something that simulates what they're going to see when they step out of the classroom. I think it's really important for all professors who are teaching in the mechatronics area to, to strive to create uh, lab experiments and uh, projects that, that, that are real life. Um, it's not all theory and the students as soon as they get out into industry or academia they're going to realize that unless they actually have exposure and have actually built something uh, they don't have any credibility. They have to have built something in their undergraduate program in order to really be able to call themselves mechatronics engineers. Uh, what I really like about the uh, Quansar uh, products is the fact that it's very seamless. The students can work in very sophisticated environments like MATLAB, Simulink, and be able to rapidly prototype control strategies. So they don't have to go back and, and uh, do everything from scratch. Uh, a lot of the, the hard coding, or not hard, but monotonous coding and writing drivers is all done for them. So they can really focus on the important control aspects and the ability to rapidly prototype something they see in simulation on an actual system means that they actually have a hope of designing something that will work within the time frame of an undergraduate degree. Typically projects, you have to finish something in one term, four months. Without Quantzer products and without the, the, the way uh, Quantzer allows you to rapid prototype, they wouldn't have a hope of completing a project, in my opinion.